You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have with me uh, my friend from Baywib Youth Works, <laughs> the whole nine yards. Uh, from Yancy. Brockton. <laughs> Welcome, Very. Ray. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing good. You great. guys are still doing great things over at Baywib and yeah. Youth Works, yeah. and you have a training program coming up that that starts about now, right? Goes about the now, end of the summer. Right. So tell us about it. All right. Well, this is for uh, Youth Works and for younger people, 18 to 24 years of age. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody interested in becoming a certified nursing assistant, and it's male and female, it's not just for females. Uh, they all they have to do is go into YouthWorks and apply. And there's a number of requirements, you know, just to complete the application. Uh, they have proof of citizenship. Uh, they need a high school diploma or equivalent. Uh, and then there's going to be a skills assessment test that they'll take during the orientation just to see where they are. That's not going to disqualify them, but just see where they are for the learning abilities. Uh, when it's over, because like I said, it's going to run through uh, basically July uh, around the 17th uh, to the 20th, somewhere in that area. Uh, afterwards, they'll be able to take their state test to actually get their certification. When they finish this course, they're gonna get a certificate mm -hmm. in nursing assistant, CPR, and Alzheimer's care. Mm -hmm. And then we'll submit the applications to the state where they'll be able to come back and take their state exam and become certified. Well, there's a tremendous need for CNA. Oh, big time, assistant. big time. Um, as the population ages, the, right. the so-called baby boomer population, yeah. which I think we both yeah, we, into, we, right? we are card carrying members. Um, yeah. I got to tell you, <laughs> CNAs are like a godsend. Oh yeah, yeah. If you have the person with the care, the compassion, right. the right skills, yeah. You, you, I, I think those folks are angels. Oh to yeah. Be perfectly oh, honest yeah. with you, and, and I'm glad you said male or female. Yeah. Primarily, a lot of the folks that I've it, dealt with with my dad yeah. are female, but right. I'm starting to see male More CNAs. males come in. Well, you think about it. You have male doctors and yep. female doctors. Right. You have male nurses and female nurses. Right. So it only makes sense to do it the makes same sense. thing with CNAs. And there's different types. There's CNAs. There's HHA. Yeah. So there's all sorts of different ones. This is for CNA, and there's the skill that has to do with it. Right. You're, you're, you're dealing with people's lives. You're exactly. You're dealing with blood pressures. You're yep. dealing with medication administration. Yep. You're dealing with, um, you know, I'd say critical care because exactly. like, uh, when you talked about the Alzheimer's, right. those are patients that can't speak up for themselves. No, they need somebody that's going to work for them and speak for them. So. You know, and, 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 and that's and, good. And be there. So mm -hmm. it, it takes, I'm looking at the flyer, 24 clinical hours right. Okay, to go through it. And the training, we did say the right dates, July 17th yep. to 20th, 7.30 to 3. Right. Okay. And that's just for the clinical. And right. they're going to do that at Bay Point. At Bay, Bay Point, Point right. Rehab in yeah. Brockton. Oh, right. so uh, they'll do their four days of clinical there okay. uh, after they complete the classes themselves that are going to take place at Baywood. Right. And you know. the time frame I'm looking on here, May 5th to August 31st, yeah. it says Monday through Wednesday, 9 to 4. Right. So you're talking about three days during the week yeah. where you can take the training. Right. And the other days during the week you can work because yeah. I'm assuming most people need to work to get some money yeah, exactly. while they're going for the training. Yeah. Is there a, is there a cost to this? No, we're paying for this. Okay. We okay. pay. We pay for well, the whole thing. I mean, I know we train medical assistants over at Southeastern. Yeah. There's a cost for that. Yeah, I mean, right. Either right. the day program, which is the kids, yeah, right. that are in the program, but the night program, there's cost there's for that. There's a cost. Yeah. Reasonable cost. Yeah. Now, right. Here's the thing: what you're doing is a service because you can go to one of these schools that charges a whole heck of a lot of tuition, the yeah. for-profit ones. Right. And they can make a lot of money off of each person. Exactly. You're going to get training. You'll yeah. probably get good training. But you can't beat your cost. Can't beat the cost. Okay, exactly. so that, that's good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I would also assume that if there are people that also have other language skills, mm -hmm. there's a need for that too. Exactly. Because, um, right. In other countries, yeah. like this one, people take care of their elders. Right. Okay, right. They, they're, they're at home. They're at home. I don't think right. you have nursing facilities yeah. and day, adult day health and in Haiti or Cape Verde yeah, or right. any place like that. Right. Here you do. Yeah. And I got to tell you something. Some of the nicest people 
Uh, they love my dad because yeah. my dad speaks fluent Spanish. Oh, okay. So he yeah. sits there and talks to the girls in Spanish. God yeah. knows what he says. I don't <laughs> want to know. Okay, but I think this is great. So 18 yeah. to 24, yep. you have to do an application. Right. You have to have proof of citizenship, a high school diploma, and all of that. Right. Okay, so that's one program. That's one. Let's yeah. move on to the other one. You're right. also getting ready to do, it's manufacturing training, yep. correct? Yep. So tell us about that one. Uh, that's a June. That date. starts in June. And this one is going to teach them how to read blueprints, uh, machine operation, you know, right, machinery in the, in the manufacturing layout. They're going to get an OSHA 10 training, so they'll be have their OSHA 10 cards. And shop math, which is honestly is something I don't know anything about, but they're going to learn it, so they'll be able to tell me afterwards. I had new math, and that, <laughs> that was me enough. For life. Right. I can do business math, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. So now, where's that going to take place? This is going to take, take place also at Baywood. Okay. But they're going to spend three days. They're going to go down to Bristol Community College. Okay. And we're going to transport them. Mm -hmm. We'll have a bus that will take them down in the morning and bring them back in the afternoon. Wow. All right, and they're, and they're, while they're there, they'll get some training there on, especially on the machines, on the lathes and the in the milling machines, because hmm. uh, obviously we don't have those here, but we need to send them somewhere where they can get the training. So Baywood, Brockton area, area workforce investment, right. and you guys are affiliated with UMass Donahue as well, yeah, Career yeah. Works, right? And I see Bristol in there, which yeah. is nice. So, cost of that, you guys are paying for that too? We're paying for that Gee, also. Gee, you get one stop shop. Yeah. You can't go any further. It, um, you also have to do the requirements, right. uh, the required forms, uh, ability to legally work in the U.S., which yeah. means you're, you're, you're a citizen and you have a, a, a card that yeah. allows you to. Right. You have an orientation. Yeah. Um, resident of Southeastern Mass. So, that's a pretty big a Big swap, area. Right. Okay. Right. Um, and uh, how do you how do you register or get in touch? Uh, on they can call uh, uh, on the manufacturing. They can call uh, Mary Osoro, who was one of the supervisors or managers at CareerWorks. Okay. And her number is 508-513-3400. Okay. And uh, just ask to speak with her or leave her a message that you want to sign up for the manufacturing. And on, on the, the youth, works, youth works, you call Mary Bernardo, Marie Bernardo at 508-584-9800. Uh, okay, so you got two different options, yep. two different ways you could go. You could do medical care, right. or you could do manufacturing. I mean, it's a lot. Blueprint reading, yeah. OSHA 10, everything all at one oh, stop. Yeah. And, and these are jobs that are, I mean, there's jobs that are out there that are unfilled. Right. And what BayWeb YouthWorks and the One Stop Career Works yeah. does is find people to get the proper training exactly. to get into the right job. Exactly. Okay, exactly. anything else you want to add, Ray? We, I got the one minute queued yeah. up, uh, believe it or not. No, just uh, any questions, they can contact me, 508-584-3234, and just ask for Ray Yancey. Okay, and I know you guys got a, a website, baywib.org, and, right. and then there's a backslash YouthWorks yep. for the youth one, for and, youth and works. the BayWorks. The yeah. regular Bay web yep. website. You have all the stuff. All the all sure. everything's on there. Well, what could be better than this? Good training, free yep. training, yep. transportation provided. Right. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. No reason why we don't have them lined up at the door. Well, you will. Thank yep. you for doing what you do, my friend. Thank you. Okay. okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark <coughs> Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, faces, people, and places right here in the city of Champions.